Hey, what's up everybody? Recently Esri released 3.0 of ArcGIS Pro. I'm going to talk a little bit about whether you're going to want to update to 3.0. They released 3.0 to get ready for the user conference to get people some experience using it before they go down to the user conference. That's next week at the time of this recording. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that, maybe some tips and tricks for the user conference if you're going down there. So stick around to the end and I'll give you my tips for going to the user conference. But as far as 3.0, whether you should upgrade to 3, I've read on Reddit that there are people that don't ever upgrade to the Dotto release. Well, I'm not gonna listen to that. I'm just gonna download it. I'm too excited about the parcel fabric and how you can enter in the Traverse grid without having to wait for it to update. I have already downloaded it and upgraded to 3.0, but then I hit a snag where I was trying to open a project and it crashed like seven times in a row. And I hit that uh, send report thing, putting in there, I was just trying to open a project. I actually got a response. They said, you've got an older annotation layer using a spatial type that isn't supported, located on my server. They gave me a workaround that didn't work. So I actually luckily had a 2.9 install file. So I uninstalled three, reinstalled 2.9, then took that annotation layer out. What I did is I just copied it to a file geodatabase and then back up to the server. Here's what I would recommend. If you're going to try 3.0, back up your projects folder, make a copy of it, and keep a 2.9 install file. I was lucky I had one for a colleague that I was putting it on their computer from a month ago. So I had a 2.9 install file. There's some advice for you for 3.0. So now the user conference, that's next week. I'm gonna be there. If you see me, make sure you stop me and say hi, show me you're a subscriber and I might have something in my bag for you. Really like to get to know you. I'm still doing interviews with people about their GIS journey for my own research and for a class I'm taking. So stop me, chat with me for a while and we can do a quick interview. Here are my main tips for you at the user conference. Number one, Bring a light jacket or a long sleeve shirt because they keep the AC on all day and it's dark in there. So it, I, maybe it's just me because I'm old, but I get cold in there. Even when I was young, I'd get cold. One year I had to go to the Esri store and buy a fleece jacket because I forgot to pack one and I was so cold. I was miserable. I was all clenched up. So bring a light jacket or a sweater or a long sleeve shirt. Just something that's going to cover up your skin and get that AC from blowing on your skin. Another thing I learned on the first day, the plenary session is down at the south end of the conference center, unless you have to go in and I think the registration is even down there too. So if you're taking the trolley or the train, don't get off at that conference center stop. Get off at the one to the south of that. I can't remember what it is. But there's two stops of the train and right in front of the conference center. Get off at the more southern one and you won't have to walk as far unless you want to walk far. I don't know. Maybe you want to get those steps in. Another trick I've learned is the plenary session lunch is going to be crazy. There's food trucks on the south end of the conference center. There's the gas lamp district. All of them are packed. You're going to have to wait to get your food. I try to walk a little farther to the north and things aren't going to be as expensive or as crowded. There's actually a Ralph's. I think it's a Ralph's grocery store that has a lot of stuff like deli type stuff that I go get. Plus I'm cheap, so I don't like paying a lot of money for my lunch or waiting a long line. Another tip is I, I have never rented a car when I go to San Diego for this conference. I always use public transit. It's a really nice system. It's five bucks a day, I think, and that gets you on trains, buses. You can get all over the county with five bucks a day. So it's a great system. They have a great app that tells you which buses you can take or which trains you need to take to get certain places. So give that a shot. Don't feel overwhelmed or scared. Don't pay too much for Ubers. You don't have to. Their public transit system's pretty top notch and especially the trains. I stay up in Mission Valley because those hotels are cheaper. And then I ride the train in and they're direct, directly to the conference center. So that's nice. My last tip is just talk to people. Go to all the social events. Uh, the Thursday night party is really fun. Don't get the food as soon as you get into the park. That's for the kids. That's like hot dogs and stuff. The good food is further inside the park at some of the museums. Like the art museum has French stuff. There's one with sushi, usually. Maybe as soon as you get there, go to as deep as you can in the park and find the food 
sources there, they're going to be better food and maybe less crowded. If you have a question about the user conference or upgrading to 3.0, let me know in the comments and I'll answer those. I'm, I'm pretty active in the comments. I answer every comment that gets put down there. So let me know if you have a question for somebody who's been to the user conference 20 times. And I'll do my best to answer for you. And as always, like this video, subscribe to my channel. Really helps me out. Share it with your friends. We'll see you in San Diego, or we'll see you next time. Recently, Esri, rele <laughs> Esri released. <laughs>